Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the shell scripting series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create our first uh, official working and useful script, which is essentially a simple ping sweep script. Uh, this is probably what I started off with. Um, and you know, just going over it, it brings back a lot of memories because it really makes you understand, um, you know, the advantages of scripting languages and how they can be used, uh, you know, for day to day tasks. That being said, uh, the, the main component of this script is going to be using the loops. And that's primarily the reason I had to cover it before I started making uh, these videos in regards to creating your own scripts. All right. All right. So essentially the purpose or the function of this script is to ping or, you know, you, you can customize the, the, uh, the ping sweep to whatever you want. But its purpose is to ping a, a set, a, a subnet or a set of IP addresses of your choice and to check whether they are online or not. Now, of course, as I said, this is really simple to do it on one. But what if you had to do it on your entire network? What if you had an entire range or a subnet in which you had to scan it of about, you know, 100 computers and you wanted to uh, perform some diagnosis on them and you wanted to know which one is up and which one is not. This is uh, a very important one, one that you think you'll never use, but uh, has helped me a lot uh, anyway. So I've created uh, the script. It's called pingsweep.shell and I have already created my shebang here and we are ready to go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is, let me let me just add a comment here so I can say simple uh, ping sweep uh, script. All right, something just really, really simple so I can document these. Uh, and maybe if you want these scripts up on GitHub, I can do that as well so you can check them out for yourself. All right, so that's a simple ping sweep uh, script. And what we need to do now is we need to ask the we're going to be asking the user to enter a subnet uh, and I'll explain what this means. So I'm going to say, uh, please uh, enter the, uh, please enter the subnet um, or your subnet. Or let, let's just keep it at subnet because you might not be performing this test on your own, on your own network. So please enter your subnet and we're going to read and store this variable in the subnet variable. Now, of course, that's really not uh, how you'd go about it. But uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to understand exactly uh, what's going on here. All right. So uh, I'm just going to have that like that. So uh, read subnet and now we can get started with our loop. So uh, remember, we are dealing with IP addresses and a range that, uh, you know, you can specify within the script depending on the on, on the amount of IP addresses. I'll explain how to do this using the sequence uh, function that comes in shell scripting. So uh, we're going to use a loop. So we're going to say four and uh, we're going to use the variable name IP. All right. And I'm going to, uh, you, you can use uh, when you in a loop, you can, when you're declaring the, uh, the variable inside the loop, you can, you don't need to specify the exact, uh, you don't need to use an uppercase specification. It really isn't needed, but if you want to, you can as well. Sorry. So for IP in, um, and you, we can say for IP in, uh, in the list. Now in the list, this is where uh, you, you would specify the range in terms of the subnet. So uh, you can have an IP, if you're in scanning the entire subnet, you're scanning IPs from 1 to 254. So we use the sequence. The sequence can use characters, uh, keywords, and also numbering, which is what we're doing. So I'm specifying the sequence of 1 to, to, uh, to 254. Okay, so the sequence of 1 to 254 and... Uh, we want to do, uh, we essentially now want to ping so we can now start our pinging here. So I'm going to say ping. Now, when we talk about pinging, the thing people don't understand is if we ping here, for example, google.com, what happens is it will keep on pinging, uh, google.com recursively. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit, uh, control C there, and I'm going to clear that out. Okay, so you, you, you get what I'm doing. So when we talk about pinging, if I open the, the, the ping manual here, uh, and we look for, where's the command, uh, the up, yeah, here, uh, C, the C, uh, the C count or the C command allows you to specify the amount of times you want to ping. So you can see stop after sending count and you specify the, the count. Uh, the syntax is quite simple. It's count and then the amount of times you want to ping that host. So again, something that you can play with as well. So uh, we're going to specify that. So I'm going to say 
the count is going to be one. We want to ping each IP address once, okay? And of course, you can customize that if you want. Now we need to use, uh, so we're saying ping, uh, let's see, we are saying we want to ping um, the, we are pinging it once, but we've already specified. Yeah, now let me explain what, why I have two variables here, because you might be saying, well, why don't I just enter the IP? Well, remember we're specifying a range. So we're going to prompt the user to enter the subnet. The subnet is the first three uh, digits or denominations that determine uh, the uh, the starting IP uh, denomination and then the subnet being either one, two, all the way to 10, right? So what do I mean by this is, what we will prompt the user to enter is the first three digits. So for those of you using Cisco routers, that will be 10 point, 10 point, maybe one. So you enter that and then the rest here is sequenced from one to 24 as IP addresses are. Okay, so I'll show you how that works in a second. So uh, we, we have already said that the first three are going to be in terms of the subnet. And of course, we don't have any error checking because someone can enter the entire subnet, but that's not how it's designed. Okay, so we'll say for uh, for IP in the uh, in the sequence here of one to two hundred and fifty four, that's the variable IP. So we can say uh, we specify the the variable subnet dot IP, right? Sub subnet dot IP. So that will be the first three digits plus the sequence here from one to one uh, from one to two hundred and fifty four. So from one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one to 192.168.1.254. You get you get what I'm saying? And again, you can change the sequence here depending on the size of the network. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I think that's all for now. So uh, let's save this and I'm going to uh, launch this. So I'm gonna say ping sweep, uh, sorry, ping sweep and I'm gonna hit enter. All right, so you can see now it's prompting the user to enter the subnet. So the subnet is the first three, so I can say 192.168.1, that's my subnet. Now it is automatically going to use the sequencing and it's going to ping every address from one to 254, even the even though they might not exist. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter. And uh, as you can see, it started the pinging and there you are. Now I know for my network uh, that my IPs start at the 100 range and that's because I, uh, I have DHCP enabled and, I, and I've customized it uh, like that. Um, you can see that we are not getting any hosts up. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, we can edit this again. So I'm going to edit this again and uh, we can change my range from 1 to 100, sorry, uh, 100. So that will scan IPs from 100 to 254 and uh, hopefully that holds up. Now, uh, this might not seem very complicated, but if you're a systems administrator or if you are in penetration testing, this script allows you to know uh, a, a lot in terms of how uh, or what computers are currently active on the network, especially if you're talking about a, uh, the network, the size of, again, as mentioned, entire range or entire subnets. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter and you can customize the ping sweep to whatever you want. Now, the exciting thing as we'll look in the next video is we'll be looking at how to create our own Nmap scanner and customizing it again and also showing you how to output the data. Okay, so let's exit here and let's run that again. Or actually, let me clear my terminal. And, uh, oops, sorry, my bad. Um, we can run that right now. And I'm going to enter the subnet 68.1. I'm going to hit enter. And there you are, it's going to start scanning from the IP 192.168.1.100. And that is probably up. Yes, it is. Did it get, uh, uh, yes, it received uh, one. There we are, zero packet loss. And uh, there we are. So it's going through all the IPs on my subnet. Now, of course, not all of them occupied. So it's going to scan and it's going to go through all that might be active. Now you can see the potential problem here is that uh, the data being displayed is really not displayed in a way that we can read very easily. So in the next part of set of videos, we'll be looking at customizing how data is output to the user uh, and how it can be output in a way that we understand, you know, whether what's going on here. So for example, in this case, we would like to customize it and print out the IP and uh, display whether a host, uh, the host is up or not, something like that. 
Uh, that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, just really wanted to cover how you can utilize all that we've learned so far and how exciting it really is. So uh, if you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website and I'll be sure to get back to you and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.